Welcome to the virtual press conference for the Tour de Gilles 2020 21. We have interviewed individual athletes that are going to join and send them these questions. Let's start. What is your main goal for this year's Tour de Gilles? In a year of the World Championships, how important is the participation at the Tour de Gilles for you? How do you feel heading into this very tough tour in a year with World Championships as well and with these special circumstances due to COVID-19? Hi, I'm Caitlin Patterson, competing for Team USA. I'm really looking forward to racing the Tour de Ski for my first time. And I'm more of a distance skier, so certainly looking forward to all six of those distance events, but really just competing in the whole thing. I think it's a great race opportunity. There's quite a bit of time after the tour that I feel we should be able to recover and still be ready and on form for world champs. So I consider it a great opportunity to contest against the best in the world. Um, from the past World Cup experiences, the, so, the ones we've had so far this year, I feel that the COVID precautions have gone fairly well. The, the US as a team and the FIS have been taking precautions and instituting quite a bit of testing. So I am optimistic that we can hold the tour safely and I'm really hopeful that we can get all the way through the event without um, undue risk. My main goal for this year's Tour de Ski uh, is to give it a really good honest shot at an overall podium. Um, I, it's, we've had really good times in the past and then we've had some really tricky times. So I think it's a really special sort of event where if everything goes well and if everything lines up, you can have amazing races. Well, I don't know if it's the most important, but I get really excited for Toe Block because that was where I had my first podium. I love the courses there. I just love Italy in general. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm excited for. Yeah, for me personally, the tour has always been a big part of my prep. Um, finishing it, or at least trying to finish it, um, is a really big part of putting on load and then recovering well uh, usually helps me in my prep for world champs. Um, I feel good about it. There's obviously never a 100% guarantee of safety, but I feel like FIS and the local organizers are working really, really hard, as well as our team. And we're just gonna be smart and careful and yeah, go forward one day at a time. Hello, it's Lauri Lepister from Finland here. Uh, my main goal in Tour de Ski 2021 is absolutely to get my all-time best results because I feel that my shape is better than so far on this season. And my ma main race is maybe those 15k classic mustards and classic sprint in Val di Fiemme. But of course I want to do my best in every race and get as many World Cup points as I can. Uh, this year, of course, everyone's main target of the season is in Oppersdorf in the World Championships. But I like to use this bunch of races while preparing for the World Championships. And I think it's good for the shape to get some really good fight, fights against international tough opponents. Uh, of course, there is always some risks when traveling, but I'm pretty confident that the restrictions of his are enough on the fight against COVID-19. And uh, there is plenty of tests and those rec the restrictions when traveling, when living there at the hotel and so on. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we will stay healthy. My goal for the Tour de Ski is to finish the uh, Tour de Ski for the first time ever. And I'm super excited to get the chance to do that. I think I'm really excited for the skate sprint to kick off the tour. Um, I've been feeling really good in skate sprints and I think it'll be a fun way to start off. I would say I'm most excited and most nervous for the hill climb. I think it's one of a kind, so I'm excited to try it and see, see how it goes. I think it's gonna hurt a lot though. 
I think in a world championship year, the tour de ski is actually kind of what I need to pre prepare for the races. Um, the more races, the better for me. So I'm hoping that'll give me a good boost um, coming into the next period of the World Cup. Hi, I'm Scott Patterson, skiing for Team USA, the Tour de Ski. And this is actually going to be my first tour. I've gone back to the States usually at this time. So I'm really looking forward to my first opportunity to go through the whole thing. As a distance skier, I'm feeling fit, so I'm really looking forward to those 5 15Ks in the middle and trying to put down some good results. Hopefully that and plus the hill climb and we'll see how the whole thing goes. As far as world champs, yeah, there is a little bit of a risk with putting together eight races over a short time period, but I think there's a long break afterwards and then again right before world champs that will be plenty of time to recover and build back that fitness for world champs. So. I don't think it's that much of a downside to race the tour this year. And then, of course, the big thing on everyone's mind with this year, the COVID situation. I think the World Cup has done a great job the past couple weekends in mitigating the risk, managing testing, interactions, masks, things like that. And I'm optimistic it will continue in the tour. I think we've done a great job within Team USA and as far as the FIS organizing to make sure those risks stay fairly minimal. I know there'll be probably some little lapses and things we have to work on, but I think the tour will be a great opportunity and that COVID risk can be managed. Um, my goal for the tour this year is to put together a strong tour as a whole. Uh, it's hard to put a specific number to it because I mean the tour, there's so much that can happen over the course of it. So. I just want to be able to be in a position where I can put up a good fight every day uh, and see see what comes of that. <laughs> I'm looking forward the most to um, to having the opportunity to compete in the tour and to hopefully make it to the end and to climb to the top of Alps for me is, is always a, a really great feeling and a strong accomplishment. I debated for a, for a while whether or not the Tour de Ski made sense to do uh, given the world championships. I don't know if there's a right answer. I've had a, I've had the tour go go well and not affect the rest of my season. And I've also had the tour be really hard to recover from and, and put a dent on the rest of my season. So uh, I feel confident about my shape this year. So I think I have the ability to handle it. So I'm hoping that it sets me up well for world champs, especially given the a little later start of world champs this year. I'm definitely scared about um, the state of the world and COVID. I'm I'm scared to travel and I'm, I've been able to be in an apartment so far, so I've had much more control over my environment and this will be my first time in a hotel and I'm definitely nervous for that. And um, I've put a lot of faith into the organizers to have a safe environment for us to race and um, in our team and uh, the local hotels to, to do their part to keep us safe. So I, I really hope everyone uh, does their part and we can make this happen successfully. Uh, I feel hopeful because period one seems to have worked well uh, and, and I've managed to stay safe and I hope I can continue down that path, but I'm certainly nervous. <laughs> My main goal for the do the ski after a difficult season start is to get good race feeling back. Uh, if that happens, I think I will be close to the top 10. All the 10k classic races are important for me, but the most important for the good overall do the ski results uh, is the 10k classic in Val di Fiemme. I am looking for the possibility race against the top skiers in the world and that way I get myself in a good shape uh, for the World Championships in Oberstdorf. Uh, I know that racing in Tudeski is risked during COVID-19 time, but I trust the decisions made by our uh, medical staff and personally I'm just happy for the chance to race and do what I love. Two favorites from Switzerland, Roman and Jason. What is your main goal for this year's Tour de Ski? Unfortunately, uh, I will just compete the first race in Valmistair, the sprint, and that's my only goal. 
And Jason, my goal will be to survive the whole tour, and uh, it would be nice to finish in the uh, top 20 in overall. Yeah, I guess it's the first sprint competition. I'm really looking forward to the first sprint competition. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> you? Really looking forward for the first weekend because it's in uh, Switzerland, beautiful Switzerland, and then uh, for sure the final stage. Yeah, I guess for me it's really important to have some races for me as a sprinter, and I'm really happy that I can start at the tour to have at least some competitions. How important is tour for you when it's World Champ season? It's quite important for me to have some races before, especially a lot of races in a row. I can uh, hopefully improve my shape for the road champs. My main goal for this tour is really to gain experience with it because I hope to one day be able to do well at it. Because it's my first tour, I really don't know what to expect, so I'm just going in with an open mind. If I'm being honest, I don't really know the race schedule yet because I think the cool thing about the tour is that you have so many opportunities to try again if the day before hasn't gone so well. So I'm really just shooting to do as well as I can in every race and get to the bottom of that alpine hill with a little bit of energy to get to the top. I think because this is a world champs year, the tour made sense for me only if I do the proper recovery afterward. I think a lot of people have, I think a lot of people can get themselves into a hole because of the load on your body after the tour. So I'm really hoping to learn from that and recover really well, which I think will be a fitness boost for the world champs later on. Um, my main goal for this year's tour is to manage my energy throughout the tour and to get to the top of that huge hill. <laughs> um, my, I'm not sure if there's any one race that's like the most important for me, but um, I had some really good races in Val de Fiemme, so I'm looking forward to being there and um, pretty psyched to get a lot of V1-ing in on that hill climb too. Um, for me this year, I'm really just trying to get as many World Cup starts and experiences as I can and a block of <laughs> eight races is a perfect way to do that. So I think it's gonna be a crucial part of my um, preparation for this season and just my general working up as an athlete, I guess. <laughs> um, there are definitely some challenges due to COVID, um, but our team has been really careful and really responsible, looking out for each other and looking out for our fellow competitors. And I think that the organizers of the races have also been doing everything that they can to make sure that they're really safe. So. I'm feeling optimistic. Um, I think just to get as far as I can and really drink in the experience and try to stay, you know, somewhat alive.